gonna live by what I see I'm not gonna live by what I feel Come on Deep down I know that you're here
your name in this place we bless your name in this place we thank you for your presence in this place and we give you all the glory and all the honor King of Kings Lord of Lords Jesus our Savior we thank you for the cross we thank you for your precious blood that you shed on the cross Thank you for your mercy thank you for your grace we thank you for what you're doing in our midst thank you for this moment this opportunity to gather together and to be able to lift up your glorious and awesome name and we thank you for what you're going to do in this place here tonight and everybody watching at home and throughout the world for your word decrees declares turn to me in the day of trouble i will deliver you and you will honor me ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open your word says i knock at the door whoever will open up the door i will come in your word says blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled so we thank you tonight for your word 
that if we walk out the same way we came in, it was by choice. But we thank you. As we call upon your name here tonight, not one of us to walk out the same way we came in. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Michael, come on. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, 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 well, welcome to Saturday night service. Watching at home. God bless you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, just a couple, um, let me just do this. Uh, a couple announcements right after service. Right when we dismiss, on the way out in the bookstore, you'll receive a ticket. Make your way around to the back of the patio area. And we got dinner. Uh, I've been up all night long, all day. No, I haven't. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, uh, but it's, it, it, when you walk in the kitchen, it's, it smells so good in there. We got, I saw chicken, vegetables. I mean, we got chicken and vegetables and a whole bunch of other stuff going on in there. Amen. So you guys are in for a, 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 a great dinner tonight. Amen. Which is going to meet your physical need, but the most important dinner that's going to meet your spiritual need is right now. Amen. It's a better dinner. Look at someone say, this is the better dinner right now. So, so right after service, on the way out, make sure you grab a ticket and then, um, and then join us for fellowship uh, uh, um, afterwards. Uh, it's going to be great. Tomorrow morning, we'll be here at 1030, 1030 um, for, for, for service. Um, don't forget free breakfast between 9 and 10 tomorrow morning. Invite someone, bring somebody to church, join us, amen. And it's also an opportunity to, 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 to invite somebody to church. You know, this way before coming into the service, they get to know some people, get to fellowship a little bit. They come in, their hearts are open to receive the word. So that's this coming up. Well, that's tomorrow. Uh, what I want to do right now is, Michael over here, praise the Lord. The only, the, only, the, only, the only thing that's, the only problem here is just what you're wearing as far as San Francisco. But, but that's okay because, you know, it's a process. Look at something. It's a process. Amen. I just, um, uh, uh, I thank God for our, my brother. He's, he's a servant of God uh, um, um, uh, here in this house. The greatest among them is a servant. We always say we can all do something. Definitely doing something. And um, um, bus ministry, bringing people in, um, sh coming right after. I always see him, at, you know, even on Wednesdays at small group, you know, when we, when, um, um, life groups. You're, you're coming basically straight from work because you're dressed up in your clothes. Amen. And um, see, whatever, watch this. See, enough, look at somebody say, stop the excuses. <laughs> Whatever is important to you, you will make time for. Yes. You will find a way. You found a way when the, <laughs> back in the day. The yeah. Amen. So uh, I'm thankful for him, and, and I'm proud of him. And um, anyway, I just wanted to, I asked him the other day, you know, you want to share a little bit of what God's doing in your life. So uh, uh, he's going to share a little bit of a, a, a testimony of just, you know, whatever God's put on his heart about what God's doing. Amen? So give him a hand. Hello. God bless you guys. My name is Michael. And a lot of times you hear people come up here and give their testimony about being in prison, gangs, and, well, I've been all that. I'm not going to give my testimony about that today. Instead, I'm going to testify about a love, a perfect love, that's so real deep and very much alive that empowered me to change from living like that. And his name is Jesus Christ. You know, I got out of prison five years ago, and since then, I've ran with the Lord. I started off walking, but now I'm running. You know, to him be all the honor and glory. Amen. You know, the Lord will take, he's taken me from way down here to where I'm at today. And I can't be more prouder of myself. Man, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a tremendous work that the Lord has done in me. You know, today, I'm a single dad 
I mean, I was still on parole when I got custody of my son. You know what I mean? And man, I have so many things now that I never had back in the day. You know, I mean, I've never had a place of my own. I've always lived from home to home to home. I never had a dresser. I lived out of bags and boxes. Today, I not only have my own place to stay, but my son has his own room, his own stuff. You know what I mean? And I'm bringing him up in the way of the Lord. You know, I consider it a true blessing when I can hear my son tell his friends that come to the house about the Lord. You know, that's what I consider a success. You know, the Lord has done so many things in my life. Today, I run somebody else's business, the whole thing. You know what I mean? And that in itself is a blessing. Nobody would ever trust me with anything, and that, you know, rightfully so. But to run somebody else's business, I mean, I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars go through my hands every day. And he doesn't have not one fear of me taking anything. You know, that's our God. You know what I mean? That's how good our God is. You know what I mean? I not only have a truck and a car, and, and I'm not boasting. I'm just saying the things God has blessed me with as I've stayed focused on him. You know what I mean? Our God is faithful. You know what I mean? And he will take you from wherever you're at and place you even higher and higher and higher. Just keep your focus on him. Now with that, I don't want to take up too much time. Where's Pastor Gus at? Oh. But anyways, <laughs> till Pastor Gus comes back, you know, God has done so many things in my life, you know, in my son's life and my family's life. My family never wanted me around. Now they're calling me, inviting me to their home. You know, I mean, every time I would come around somebody, they would grab their purse. I mean, they come here, honey, you know, get away from him. You know, now is they leave me alone. They invite me to their house, to dinners, you know what I mean? And they don't grab their purses and wallets when I walk in. You know, that's a blessing. You know what I mean? But just God is good. God is good. But, and that's, that's my testimony. Well, amen. Oh, come on, somebody. Celebrate. Michael, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Praise God. Come here. I want you to stand on your feet. I want you to pray right now. Who, who's in this place? Like, I like what he said. You know what? Uh, uh, um, um, was, was, was walking, then you're running now. Amen? Yes, Who wants to go from walking to running? Amen. You want to pray for them right now? Could you pray? Praise God. Lift up your hands. Abba Father, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, we come before you, Lord, giving you all of our thanks, praise, honor, and glory. For we confess, my Lord, that we are your beloved sons and daughters. And Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, for you, yourself, leading us, guiding us, and directing us, Lord, into your way, your truth, and your life. Again, it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit, saith the Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity not only to start off by walking with you, but now running with you, my Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on. Let's worship the Lord for a few minutes. Come on. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus.
on every hand lifted up Voice lifted up, every hand lifted up. Sing it out.
somebody, I don't know if it's watching at home or in this place right now, that's got a liver issue. Liver. Liver. God is touching that right now. Liver, liver, livers. In the spirit, what God's telling me right now, livers that have been damaged, God is giving, somebody's getting a new liver. That's what God's telling me to tell you right now. To him be all the glory and all the honor. And it's not for you to walk away from the service and forget the one that just did that for you. It's for you to go tell somebody of how great he is and that there is an answer and his name is Jesus. Livers. Kidneys. Just lift up your hand, just lift up your hand, just lift up your hand. Worship, continue to worship.
emergency I don't want people moving around you might say well it doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with be this altar call how selfish are you why are you not praying why are you not interceding why are you not rejoicing the reason why I'm sitting there, the, the, earlier God was telling me don't do anything just people people are in different places here tonight they're not even focused here a lot of people are not focused with, for the thing they're not focused. You're here, but you're not here. You're here, but you're not here. Why are you here? You're here, but you're not here. And God's question to you is, why are you here? How about the person that comes struggling and fighting and just, you know, man, I need help. I'm just trying to get it. People are here, they just, you're not here. You're mine. Right now, as we worship the Lord, we need, people need to repent of that here tonight. things to happen you want healing you want deliverance you're gonna go back and it's like man 
and, and you're the same person during the week that's going, man, I'm going through this and I'm going through that. But you're here, but you're not here. And God says, why are you here then? Because I'm here and you can't. And I'm your answer. I'm your help. I'm your strength. I'm your power. I'm your healer. But how can I help you? Because I'm a jealous God. Can't you give me an hour? First the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and then all these things shall be added unto you. Seek first him. Is he first? Are you calling upon his name? Call upon his name. Worship, worship, worship. right now no one talking to nobody worship worship worship
for your glory. God's touching because God God's touching and, and it's one of those things where it's like where you look back and like you know when people say like sometimes like man I had this encounter then that was just undeniable and after that kind of an undeniable encounter it's hard to go back do you understand what you see, see I'm talking about she said that's what see, God is so good here tonight that he's touching lives in a way He's touching lives in a way because he knows he knows you he knows you he designed you that that man it's kind of like okay all right i get it I, I know that this is okay we're we're it's gonna help you to go forward and not go back god says listen 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 god says put on something put on something put on something i need something in the background keep give, give me something like give me something Watch this. God says, I got this earlier today and it's coming to my spirit right now. Don't settle for good. Settle for God. Watch this. I don't know what that means. Long time ago, I was offered a position while I was working at the airport early on. Could you imagine early on saved and and, and now you're starting to realize that you've been called to ministry, not just, you know, just, but really I, knowing that you were, you, were, you were separated. Things are starting to happen a little bit, but it's still early on. So, you know, man, you know, this is going to be my life. But I'm throwing suitcases and then an opportunity is presented to me with an office and to work for a church and to be in a ministry. And God said, no. It was good. But it wasn't God. What I'm trying to say is, if I would have settled for that, I wouldn't have this. That was good. This was God. That was good. This is God. For me. I'm not saying that wasn't God for some, but that wasn't what he called me to. How many of us at that moment, that's a tough one. Man, I'm going to get a full-time job doing ministry. I'm called to ministry. I don't have to throw suitcases anymore. People are quitting their jobs because I'm like, man, I'm called into ministry. And then a year later, they quit everything and they quit on God because they're upset at God. And God said, I never, I called you to ministry, but I didn't say quit your job yet. Oh man, someone, I don't know who God's speaking to right now. Good. 
don't settle for good God says settle for me and what I have for you which means when you when you settle for what God has and not good there might be a little more sacrifice and a little more pain and a little more discomfort I know someone's not saying man I didn't come to hear this but it's going to be worthwhile later I wasn't created for that even though it was God in the sense for the kingdom but that wasn't what God did God designed me for this so I would have been out of place in other words I wouldn't have lasted because that wasn't what I was created I wasn't that wasn't my calling don't settle some of you right now in a place of discomfort but don't sell out or settle for comfort in the time of discomfort because that will if you settle for the comfort in your discomfort you might get comfort now but you'll be miserable later God don't settle for good settle for God who's in this place right now who's in this place right now quickly and we're gonna move on who's in this place right now I feel just a mm, it's militant right now who's in this place that that means business watch this God wants to if you're still if you're struck or you have quit God wants to heal right now God people that or if you're struggling with an addiction but God's showing me right now He's bringing to remembrance something that me and my wife are watching and God's telling me right now I want to heal people's minds right now. People that have used meth. God wants to heal that area in your brain. That, that, that area, do you know what I'm saying? That was, that was damaged. Quickly, as we worship the Lord, come up here quickly. Come on, come on, come on! This is real. This is real. This is real. watching a program on the, yeah, on, on, on the Christian station about someone that had drug abuse and crystal meth and, and they were describing what happens and then you know how it takes time for and the good news is it's good news that, it, that, that the areas are um, brought back they're, they're okay so explain it because right now God's gonna help right now that area right now because because that's real and he, you know for the ones that have been there you know what I mean and then you and then you fall into depression and you feel because that 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 area and that's why we could go 
the, the devil the lie and then we go get another hit or another or we slam some more and then when you're off you get down because now this thing's screaming out so what, explain it because I want them to get a picture of what's about to happen man this is awesome just get, and it's going to help bring clarity for you to go forward for the glory of God but the good news like she said go ahead what, what, exp just give them a little, uh, little uh, just a little okay so okay so first I'm not a doctor okay but we we know a doctor Dr. Jesus so that's my disclaimer okay praise God so we we're watching this show and um, basically what happens there's so many different things there's serotonin there's dopamine there's so many different things that go on in the brain right so actually this this lady is a Christian and she was sharing about this and she's a doctor a psychologist and all this and she was saying so you have your frontal lobe and then you have so basically it showed a brain that never did meth and a brain that was affected by methamphetamine and there's holes all over it right and it says that what happens is that somebody there's a lot of people and I, I've been in recovery and so it's like in recovery it's like you go like three months you're like great and you might fall and you get to six months and you might fall and then nine months and 12 months I mean it's, it's like it's the spiritual we know on that level it's, a, it's the cycle right well we're gonna break that tonight right and then what else is gonna happen is what else is gonna happen is they said like 14, 15 months, if somebody that has battled with that addiction, if they can stop, if they can just give it 14, 15 months, that what happens is, is God has made us so miraculously that we actually restore ourselves and the cells. But what's going to happen here tonight is it's going to happen supernaturally in the name of Jesus. What the devil meant to kill, steal, and destroy you and your cells and your brain to make you just think that you can't do it and you keep going back to the vomit you keep going back to that vicious cycle that ends here tonight in Jesus name your brain <laughs> it is okay 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 so heavenly father lord god Everybody lift up your hands. Everybody lift up your hands. And you can also intercede for other loved ones as well. We know that this drug affects so many people. It's the drug of the devil is what it is. And we are giving you our null and void. And we, we file eviction against you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for every single soul here, for every single heart here, Lord God. And we pray that as Pastor Gus prays, Lord God, that you are touching them, Lord. That you are touching them. And that every single brain, every brain cell, Lord God, you're fixing their brains that you are aligning them with what you've created them to be, Lord God. New brains, new cells, their neurotransmitters, everything's going to be aligning by your glory, Lord God. You're going to touch them. We pray right now for the fire from heaven to fall down and touch even every single person. Every person that's hungry is going to receive the healing tonight. But you have to be hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing and you get all the glory, all the honor and all the praise, all the glory, Lord God. This is not man. This is the fire God that is touching each and every one of you. Don't look to Pastor God. Don't look to anybody else, but look to Jesus because the blood of Jesus heals everything. Woo! Watching at home. Watching at home right now. Lift up your hands and worship right where you out because God is going to reach you because the anointing is transferable. There's no time in the spiritual realm. It is going to touch you too right now. Right now, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Anybody that's watching online on Facebook, if you know anybody that was addicted to meth or they're having a battle getting out of it, share this live video right now so they can chime in on it and they can get in on this healing as well. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Swiss cheese, but what's gonna happen right now is 
Jesus is going to heal your brain. And that's going to go away. In Jesus' name. your greatest assets right here we're not where we were but God's preparing us to go forth and say this is what God's done and this is the God we serve delivered me set me free and healed what was damaged before he'll do the same for you let me tell you what's happening today on those streets and in this country and it's not just the streets it's on all levels business high rises everywhere and it's not gonna listen and 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 this isn't gonna change or we're not gonna break this or put a stop to this from the natural or from man's wisdom now there's a place for a lot of things accountability um, there's a place for programs to help us because we need but that's but see counseling but that's all bible see there's a place for that but 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 the but the turnaround it, it, we need the power of god we need we need we need we need the fire of god to raise up soldiers like here to go back out there Amen. And when people go, man, I don't need to be go. I don't need to pay for this and and have damage when I can get Jesus and get a hit from Him and get a greater high and live for Him and serve Him and have life and life more abundant. See, the enemy's lied to us and twisted this thing he's twisted it he's twisted it clear it in.
chapter 41 uh, latter the second part of verse 9 I have chosen you and have not rejected you lift up your hands that's someone easy I God says I, I, I have chosen you God says I have not rejected you so do not fear God says, I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear. I will help you. Shout yes. Lift up your hand. God says, Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9. See, the former things have taken place. Look at someone say, let it go. God says a new thing. I declare. 
before they spring into being I announce them to you a new thing a new thing a new thing second Corinthians 517 therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation the old has gone the new has come shout yes shout that's me shout that's me shout that's me I'm new shout yeah Sing, just lift up your hands. Come on. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Who are I'm you? no longer a slave who to fear. Who are you? Because when you know who you are I in Christ, am a child watch out devil. You're a child I'm of God. No longer So I can walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I will stand and sing. I am a child of God. You split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me, so I stand and sing. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave God says in Isaiah 43, this is your note. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert. You know what that means? In the discomfort. In the setback. In the valley. In the crisis, God says, in the crisis, if you call upon my name and trust me, I'm making a way. And streams in the wasteland. In other words, he's making a way because then he gets all the glory. No man, no man, no man, no man can touch it. No man can touch it. No man can touch it. No one can touch. He gets all the glory. Only God could have done it. Only God could have pulled it. Only God could have turned it around. Shall ya? Lift up your hands. Lift them up. There is freedom. Lift your eyes to heaven. There is freedom. 
freedom freedom reigns in this place showers of mercy and grace falling on every face there is freedom Showers of mercy and grace Falling on every face There is freedom If you're tired and thirsty There is freedom If you're tired and thirsty, there is freedom. Give your all to Jesus. There it is, there it is. There is freedom. The Come brand new. Give your all to Jesus. God says, I'll forgive you as far as he swore. There I love you. is freedom. I'll wash you, I'll bless you. Give you a new start. It's not the way you start. Freedom it's the way you finish. Reigns in this place. New creation. Showers of mercy and grace. Let go of the former things. Falling on every face. There is freedom. Jesus reigns in this place. Showers Watch this. Watch this. Some of you have believed the lie and the word that you shall not recover, that you're saved and you might be going to heaven because you said yes to Jesus, but your past and the damage that was caused physically and even, not just in the physical, personally, but people connected to you. The enemy would say, you will never recover from that. Just like we just prayed about our, our mind, our brain. The enemy would come and say, that damage is not reversible. Hezekiah, the word was, get your house in order. You're not, that's it, you're done. Then he cried out to God. And then God says, go back over there and tell him, I'm going to add another 15 years. Did you hear what I said? Guys, tell me to tell you here tonight. Stop believing the voice of the enemy and start believing his word of how great he is and what he says about the situation. Well, the doctor said, and so and so said that, and statistics say this after you've drank so much and I, you've done so many drugs, the damage, there's no, you know, you know you'll finish with you know, living for the Lord, but there's, you're always going to have this and have that. And God says, I'm bigger than that. God says, I'm bigger than that. You can and you will. Not just salvation. What does my word say? He says, you're my child. And what is my promise for you? Not what people say, not what the statistics say, not what society says. What do I say? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. What do I say? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name that forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Lift up your hands and receive it. Showers of Shut up when I recover! Shut up when I recover! is 
freedom. Freedom reigns in this place. Showers of mercy and grace falling on every face. There is freedom. Watch this. God says he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord or wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Understand you're a child of God. Everything you need when you said yes to I'm going to give you an opportunity before we close right now to say yes to him. Because when you said when you say yes to Jesus, the Spirit of the Living God comes inside, and everything you need, you have. You don't have to go looking for it. I said you don't have to go looking for it. You got it. Power, wisdom, peace, joy. And when you know who you are, and you are in the family of God, that you've been forgiven as far as east from the west, you're a new creation, and you understand all these things. You don't need the approval, man. You don't need pats on the backs. You don't, you're not easily always like, man, I don't, that's the thing. The, 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 the church today is so, like a little baby, we're like, so someone says something, we're like, oh my God, we get so hurt. It's like when you know who you are in Christ, you don't take it personally. Because you know, see, when, you're, when, you, when you don't know who you are in Christ, someone says something and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God. And you get all of it. But when you're mature, because you know who you are in Christ, you're like, praise the Lord, amen. Well, I don't know how, boy. I don't want to look this way, and I don't want to look that way, and I don't want to, I don't want people to think of me this way. And what did, what did they mean by that? And why didn't they say I? And when I sang the song, or I preached, or I said, or I worked, wasn't it good enough? I, it, no, it didn't seem like I got a response. Who cares? If you know who you are in Christ, you don't care about that stuff you to come and tell me tonight that was great I, I don't if no one says anything I already know it's great because I know I'm following his instructions so when I leave I'm good I'm his child I've done his job and I already know what he's done so you can say praise the Lord that was awesome or you don't say nothing it doesn't matter I still know it was great in Christ you know man that he's crazy about you that he died for you the word the word that he's a friend that's six older than a brother that he's my friend he's my savior he's my deliverer that he loves me that he's crazy about me I'm special I'm one of a kind man I'm so special you know when you know who you are in Christ you look in the mirror and say man looking good so special that he died on the cross for me so crazy about me that's how precious I am if you're in this place right now I want to give you the opportunity to say yes to Jesus because that's the greatest miracle of all and we're gonna dismiss be encouraged tonight intimidated with your sins he died for every one of your sins and he loves you and your miracle starts with a relationship with him for this is what it's all about the solution the answer starts with a relationship with him for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved I don't care how much you've done how long you've done it tonight's your night God loves you his grace and his mercy is here tonight I want us all to pray this prayer together watch it at home your altar is right where it's at this is what it's all about this is what the message is about surrender saying yes to him and then following him i want to encourage you after this prayer later get plugged into church if you meant business get in church get around the right people and get busy go tell somebody what god's done for you and what god's doing pray this prayer with me heavenly father i need you i'm a sinner and i need a savior 
I believe you sent your son Jesus to this earth for me and those who call upon his name shall be saved Jesus I call upon your name I ask you to come in my heart and be Lord and Savior of my life wash me with your blood renew a right spirit within me use me for your glory from this day forth I'm all yours in Jesus name amen if you just prayed that for the first time I want to welcome you to the family of God Look at someone and say, welcome. Amen. Now let's move forward for the glory of God. You may be seen in the presence of the Lord. Just, we got a couple, turn on, let's get the lights on. Right, praise the Lord. Everyone show me the offering envelope. And so we're going to take the offering and then we're going to dismiss. And have some food amen are you all right what good is it watch this what good is it get ready to give are you ready to give watch this I wanted to do something on identity here and I got some things just I was reading a couple things from the from somewhere and I was gonna go through the scriptures because it's important to know who you are in Christ and get the word and then a couple other things and I'm thinking man this thing this thing's no this is not this is not and there's there was a lot of stuff in the spirit I don't know see somebody and God says no you can't go there and you can't move yet because things need to break in here that's why I was just sitting there for worship because worship the Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. So if we stick to a program tonight, or whatever you want to call it, none of this happens. This is where God wanted us to bring us to tonight. We're going to take the offering, but I can get, listen, I know it takes money to do stuff, but trust me, man, my focus is not on an offering tonight. My focus is on getting... Why are we doing all this? Why we make even the food? It's great fellowship. But man, uh, my focus, I'm just trying to tell you, I can't do this. And trust me, I got my issues. I know it's hard to believe. But man, when I get over here, I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do this, this, I'm not I'm not gonna do this just to do this. So who is it, Lord, that, that you're trying to who's the one that's ready to give up? Because I've been there before. Who's the one that's struggling with an addiction? Because I've been there. Who's the one that's contemplating taking their lives? Because I've been there. I would, years ago, I wouldn't have said, but I've been there. And it wasn't before Jesus, it was after Jesus. Man, you guys just, uh, you guys can't handle this. You just got, people, the, no, you can, this church can't. Most people like want to be telling, want to hear, but, 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 but this is real. We're having services and we're not talking about the real stuff. We're not talking about after you get saved after you get saved the insanity so let me encourage you everything's gonna be all right and you're gonna come back stronger wiser how do you know that pastor Yeah, so offering song. I don't care. Listen, man. I, I, tonight, I don't care if we have music. We don't have music. My whole thing is my. It's game time. That's why there's too much going on. Man, this is God's time. This is this is the hospital. Where's everybody's mind at? And for the mature ones that have been around for a while and are serving, what are you doing? Don't forget where you are at. Or maybe everything's okay with you. You feel pretty good. But what about the one that's about to give up? So when, it, when, it, when this thing starts, wake up, focus. It might not be for you today, but maybe it's somebody next to you. I don't got it all together. Listen, I'm, I'm a work, God's doing a miracle. I'm working in this church and I knew all that. But man, when this happens, when we start this though, this ain't a job. Not about money. I look out here and I see me in different times and seasons in my life. It, it just gets me upset because it's like man it grieves me because I know what a service like this can mean to somebody it could be the difference of 
the end or the difference of raising up a soldier that's going to change cities I was that person in the beginning when I first got saved and I would sit in atmospheres like this and I believed you're going to go preach the word around the world and I see you doing this and I see you doing that and pretty soon I'm like man I haven't even gone to Bible school I haven't done any of this stuff you see me doing what? gospel is being preached through this ministry around the world right now I believed it or better yet a little bit later on when you go through stuff and then you you're then you're thinking man God I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not worthy to be you know especially now that I know now I've gone through stuff it's like man now you, you definitely this thing's over or you know you, you know the enemy messes with you but then you go and you get around the right people or you're in a service again or an atmosphere and a word goes forth or a prophecy comes forth the right way prophecy when it's used to encourage a prophecy that comes to let you know something you already know not 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 looking for the next prophet but just being in that place and a word comes to you because God knows and he finds you right where you're at and a word comes directly right to you to remind you of who you are and what you're called to do and to wake up and get back up right well I did all that so you can add a couple more zeros on the check-ins and I'm just kidding praise God <laughs> amen are you ready to give praise God lift up your hands for offerings whatever you have praise God God sees your heart amen Sheila why don't you come up here and pray for the offering my wife's gonna come and pray you on my wife my wife's gonna pray amen praise God you want to pray too sweetheart let's get the baby let's get our little one up here come on yeah, yeah, get up. Come up. You can. My sister's not letting go of the baby. She's not letting go of my. My sister's like, no. <laughs> See what I got to deal with. Amen. Amen. So, 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 so. Are you ready to pray, sweetheart? She knows what's up. Amen. Okay, she'll. Let's pray. Praise God. Are you ready? Come on. Let's do this. Pray. Spirit, I just pray that the words that come out, Lord God, are someone say that was a good one amen so in the next few minutes what we're going to do is we're going to dismiss we're going to dismiss that I just keep on getting in my mind right now I just see I, I know I, I'm not saying this is the it's just I just believe this is the Lord and the spirit I'm seeing I'm just seeing wires connecting wires so it might not just be in, 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 yeah yeah what is it come over just keep on seeing that. I don't know why I, and I need to speak it forth so um, in the brain you know we have our neurotransmitters and they can like misfire but what's happening is they're being fused back together right with the blood of Jesus at a cellular level so what's happening is they're they're starting to fire correctly again like they were always meant to be amen that because I've done some stuff and I know I'm healed but we can always be you know I'm like thank you Jesus my mind I don't know about you but when I first got sober it's like I remember I was in job court and I was trying to take my GED and like I could not 
I was reading and I had to take these tests and like I was like oh my gosh like this is really challenging for me and it was scary and I started flashing before me all the drugs I did everything that I did I was like wow and I remember being like God please like heal my mind I'm not the same anymore and he did and so he did that for everybody that wanted to receive it tonight it happened to you too so praise God amen shout out receive it amen so um, we got who's, we got the ticket set up in the hallway. We do or we don't. I want to make sure. Let's go. So on the way out, somebody will be there with tickets. Grab your ticket and then make your way all the way out around. Okay. So on the way out, um, there's someone at the door. Grab your ticket. Make your way out to the patio. Enjoy dinner. Praise the Lord. We'll be back here tomorrow morning. Service at 10:30 breakfast between 9 and 10. Amen. Are you glad you came? Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Give God, give someone a big God bless you on the way out. Amen. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord.